Buongiorno da Vittorio Veneto. Welcome to Vittorio Veneto. Here we are in the former municipality of Ceneda. You can see the Battle of Vittorio Veneto Museum behind me. Vittorio Veneto is world famous because the final act of World War I took place here. To all Italians, this is the city of victory, made famous by the Battle of Vittorio Veneto. Di Vittorio Veneto che l'ha resa famosa. Ma Vittorio Veneto non è soltanto questo. Vittorio Veneto. Vittorio Veneto is more than just this, however. It's a city rich in history, culture, heritage, art, and special traditions. È una città che nel corso dei secoli si è costituita. Over centuries, the city grew up around two centers. One is the municipality of Ceneda, where we are now. And the other one is Serravalle, which lies at the foot of the mountains to the north. The two municipalities merged in 1866. Initially, the city was given the name of Vittorio, in honor of Italy's first king, Vittorio Emanuele. In later years, the term Veneto was added. And now the city is known as Vittorio Veneto. Vittorio Veneto come oggi è conosciuta. La città quindi è una città che si presenta The city has several centers, several squares and one main thoroughfare, Viale della Vittoria. This particular thoroughfare links the two formerly separate villages together and is lined with handsome villas in liberty style that date back to the period of Italian unification and give the city its particular style and charm. One of these villas in liberty style, Villa Croze, now hosts the medieval and modern art museum. Vittorio Veneto is rich in art and is therefore rich in museums. The Battle of Vittorio Veneto Museum behind me is only one of them. The city's other museums are dedicated to ancient art, modern art, sacred art and arts and crafts, including, for instance, the Silkworm Museum. The city is full of heritage, architecture, art and sheer beauty, so it's definitely worth a visit. Voglio ricordare anche le chiese importanti che noi abbiamo che contengono It also owns a cathedral and a number of prestigious churches hosting authentic masterpieces. The Church of Santa Maria del Meschio hosts one of the finest examples of Renaissance art in the Veneto region. The altarpiece by Andrea Previtali depicting the Annunciation. The Church of Santa Maria Nuova in Serravalle holds another extraordinary altarpiece by the great Tiziano Vecelli, also known as the Titian. Alle nostre spalle il Museo della Battaglia. Il Museo della Battaglia The Battle of Vittorio Veneto Museum behind me is inside the former municipality of Ceneda City Hall. La municipalità di Ceneda, un palazzo storico. This historic building has been ascribed to the great architect Jacopo Sansovino one of the masters of Italian Renaissance. The outer loggia was frescoed by Pomponio Malteo. Giovanni de Min did all the frescoes inside the main hall in the 19th century. The Battle Museum was graciously restored and completely reshaped from 2012 to 2014. The viewing itinerary was completely redesigned to cater for the needs of modern visitors. It has become a very modern museum with three different levels. Perché permette di percorrere su tre livelli diversi un itinerario. The first takes you inside a trench, which we shall see shortly. 
The second shows the city's occupation by enemy forces. The third level, on the museum's top floor, presents the Battle of Vittorio Veneto and its myth, and hosts the collection of Luigi Marson, one of the famous Boys of 99, the last class of conscripts born in 1899, who were sent to the front while they were turning 18 in a desperate attempt to win the final battle. When the war was over, Luigi Marson, who later became a doctor, began collecting every item and relic he could find. Firearms, artillery shards, helmets, photographs, frayed uniforms, and letters the boys wrote to their loved ones from the front. Dr. Marson later donated his collection to the city of Vittorio Veneto so that the horrors of the First World War would never be forgotten. This was how the Battle of Vittorio Veneto Museum began, starting from a collection of artifacts put together by someone who had actually fought in the Great War a testimony of the times, the museum has become part of the local heritage and its recent renovation allows it to provide a detailed emotional immersion. Here we are inside the Battle Museum. Specifically, this is where the emotional impact might be most intense, the reconstruction of a trench. You can walk through it, hearing the sounds the soldiers heard. You can feel the shaking under your feet from bombs exploding nearby. It gives you a sharper idea of what these boys went through. Ehm, abbastanza precisa di quello che potevano vivere i soldati in quella drammatica situazione. From the trench you go up to the museum's first floor, which provides a representation of the city in the terrible year of 1917-1918. To this day, that year is still referred to as the year of the hunger. The city was under occupation, and as many as 15 different languages were spoken in its streets. But not by men, of course. All the men were at the front. The city was populated only by the elderly, the infirm, women and children trying to lead their lives in conditions that people would hardly even realize today. The museum attempts to reconstruct it all through photos and documents of daily life from Vittorio Veneto and especially from Serravalle, now preserved in glass cases and drawers. You get the feel of entering an occupied city and its homes. Opening these drawers makes you see more clearly the difficulty these people had to face. della città occupata di allora all'interno di quelle case e aprendo questi cassetti scoprire quella che era la difficoltà incredibile dell'esistenza di allora. Qui siamo sempre al primo piano del Museo della Battaglia Still on the first floor. The Marson Armory Room contains the arms this 1899 boy soldier collected. These weapons, from different armies, testify to his passion for collection. On the top floor now, the restoration done from 2012 to 2014 was intended to maintain the museum's original purpose of preserving the artifacts collected. Quindi con un percorso che a secondi quella che era stata la iniziale volontà di raccogliere questi cimeli. Here, in the Room of Heroes, the names of our fellow citizens who died in combat can be seen behind me. This particular room holds what some might consider the museum's most significant relic in spite of its insignificant material value. 
It is a small rosary, a rosary that young Luigi Merson took from the hand of a Hungarian soldier lying dead on the battlefield. Merson would later relate that this item inspired the search he would make for the rest of his life and his fervent desire that future generations would learn and never forget what happened in Vittorio Veneto. Il, il desiderio e aveva messo in lui quella volontà di raccogliere per testimoniare, per non far dimenticare. All'interno di questa sala vedete alle mie spalle una bacheca in vetro di Murano. This display case in Murano glass holds the flags of some of the armies that fought in the First World War. Siamo nella sala più importante del Museo della Battaglia. This is the museum's most important room. It once was the meeting room of the Ceneda City Hall. Recent renovation enables its use for conferences and other activities. di rappresentanza come sede di conferenze ed altre attività. La cosa straordinaria di questa sala Its most extraordinary features are the frescoes on the wall. These were done by perhaps one of the most renowned fresco painters in the first half of the 19th century. His name was Giovanni de Min. He was highly esteemed as an artist also by the world famous sculptor Antonio Canova. The means frescoes combine a reinterpretation of the classical and neoclassical styles in fashion at the time with Veneto painting tradition from the 16th to the 18th century. They also depict some of the most important moments in the history of Ceneda. Una serie di scene che riguardano i momenti salienti più importanti della storia di Ceneda. L'aspetto interessante di questo salone è determinato anche da un soffitto sul quale ci sono eh, c'è un percorso di stemmi di Another important aspect of this room is its ceiling with the emblems of all the bishops of Ceneda the two most important of which are that of Bishop Lorenzo da Ponte the first and Bishop Albino Luciani who later became Pope John Paul the first Siamo ora al piano terreno del Museo della Battaglia, nella chiesa. Here we are on the ground floor of the Battle of Vittorio Veneto Museum, in the deconsecrated chapel of San Paoletto, a very simple baroque building with one hall, a baptistry, a choir stall, and an altar still present. The memorial to the Knights of Vittorio Veneto was set up here in the chapel's apse in 2017. The memorial contains books that list the names of all those registered in the Order of the Knights of Vittorio Veneto in northern Italy, around 540.000 names. Sono circa 540.000 nomi. In addition to these registers, the memorial also hosts three panels. The first presents the justification for the awarding of the Cross of Honor to the city of Vittorio Veneto and is flanked by a collection of medals awarded not only to the Knights of Vittorio Veneto but to all those who have fought in the First World War. Upon entry, visitors will find an excerpt from the last testament and will of one of the war's most important heroes, Nazario Sauro which reads as follows. Although I die with the one regret of depriving my beloved wonderful children of the father they loved so much, the fatherland isn't dying. Our nation will live on. So the words nation and fatherland are full of meaning for those who are registered in the order of Knights of Vittorio Veneto and all those others who fought in the war. Along with all the books composing the memorial, there is also a copy of the book that was sent to you and is now in your possession. The Book of Knights bearing the names of all the Australian Knights. 
On the first page, under the title, you will see that the book was published by courtesy of the Italian Ministry of Defense, General Directorate of Military Personnel. As you can see here, there is a special section dealing exclusively with the Knights of Vittorio Veneto. All this has been made possible thanks to the contributions of our sponsors, Prosecco Doc and the Municipality of Vittorio Veneto. On the next pages, gratitude is expressed to the Mayor and the Councillor for Cultural Activities, and some historical background for the book is provided. This explains that the Order was founded in 1968, and that all those who were still alive could be awarded the title of Knight of Vittorio Veneto upon request to the Ministry of Defence. This offer became very popular, and so even people who had left the country submitted requests to the Ministry. In this way, many people who lived even in distant Australia were awarded the title of Knight of Vittorio Veneto. Furono insignite del titolo di Cavaliere di Vittorio Veneto. Fare questo questo elenco non è stato Drafting this list was no easy task. Even if the lists have all been digitized by the Ministry of Defence, the problem is that the names of the cities were often not spelt accurately. The name of the city of Sydney, for instance, has been spelt in four different ways. Cercare, per esempio, su Sydney la bellezza di quattro desinenze diverse. Poi eh, c'è anche eh, il problema che non tutti eh, non sono riportate eh, solo le città principali, ma sono riportate Another problem is that in addition to the names of the cities, also the names of the suburbs have been provided. And as you all well know, every Australian city has many suburbs. And so, even if we cannot be absolutely sure that we have all the names of the knights, after checking as many as 566 cities and suburbs, we have succeeded in obtaining nearly 2,000 knights. Further in the book there are various photographs. All of them are included in the Luigi Marzocchi photograph collection, which happens to be one of our museum's chief assets with as many as 700 stereoscopic images and photos. As you may see, there is a list of all these 600 and more cities that emerged from investigation, together with a number of knights who were located in each one. More precisely, the number of knights in Australia amounts to 1,992. The book then offers a section of documents, the first page of which regards the order of knights found in law, which is quite short and consists of seven articles. Article 1 states that those who provided military service for at least six months or during wars prior to the First World War are eligible for a gold medal by submitting requests initially to their municipality of residence and subsequently to the Ministry of Defence. Article 2 specifies the institution of the Order of Knights of Vittorio Veneto as a single class, and all those who had served in the First World War and had been awarded the Cross of Honor were worthy of registry. Article 2 also specifies that the Order's insignia is a metal cross and a ribbon. Viene stabilito in questo articolo anche l'insegna del Cavaliere, che è una croce metallica e un nastrino. Article 3 regards the administration of the order, which is as follows. 
The head of the order is the President of the Republic of Italy, and the order is ruled by a council composed of a chairman who must be a general of the armed forces, of four officer members who must be generals or admirals, and of a president of the National Association of Veterans, who is always appointed by the President of the Republic of Italy from among the candidates proposed by the Ministry of Defence. Article 4 describes the recognition awarded by the President of the Italian Republic upon proposal by the Ministry of Defence. Applicants must submit a personal request, therefore still be alive at such moment, through the municipality of residence. Article 5 specifies the granting of a limited pension check for those who have no other means of subsistence. Articles 6 and 7 regard application procedures. Here we can see a facsimile of the Diploma of a Knight of Vittorio Veneto. The order number, the date of the law and the name and surname of the knight are entered here with the signature of the Chairman of the Order's Council. The left margin bears an image of the Buon Consiglio Castle in Trento, which is the Knight's Castle of Honor. The right margin shows San Giusto Cathedral in Trieste, which is the Knight's Church of Honor. The other side features the Cross of the Knights of Vittorio Veneto, with its ribbon and the celebratory medal of the 50th anniversary of victory. Finally, there is a list of names which features the first and last names of every knight. The suburb of the knight's residence and the suburb's reference city. The address to which the diploma was sent and the date of birth of each knight are also provided, together with the date of the founding law. These lists do not contain the names of those died before 1968, because, as I mentioned above, the request had to be submitted in person by the applicant for the title. The knights are listed by name in alphabetical order, not by city or suburb in such order. E eh, ovviamente il libro non ha la pretesa di essere perfetto, ma è perfettibile. Anche the book cannot claim to be perfect, but it can be progressively improved thanks to your contribution. Therefore, if you are in possession of the right documentation but cannot find the name you are looking for in the lists, simply send us a copy of the diploma or the information required. We will add it here to our memorial of the Knights of Vittorio Veneto.